debate around the use of human embryonic stem cells has been raging for a number of years now, and scientists have desperately been trying to find an ethical solution. Now, a new story in this week's Nature suggests a way of using dead embryos and bringing them back to life. So, Joe, how have they managed to do this? Well, it's not bringing embryos back to life exactly, but w- what they wanted to do was try to develop a human embryonic stem cell line from an embryo that had basically naturally died, that had stopped developing in culture. Um, so they took 161 donated embryos, which had been donated from IVF clinics, and of those, some developed normally, some stopped dividing after three to five days, some stopped dividing after six to seven days. And what they found was that from one of the embryos that stopped dividing after six to seven days, they were actually able to get a normal-looking embryonic stem cell line. Well, this sounds miraculous, but how did they know they were actually dead and they weren't just alive and they were managed to coax them out in some way? Um, Well, normally the standard embryologist criteria for an embryo being dead is basically if it doesn't divide for two days. Um, What this may do is... um, stimulate debate about what it actually means for an embryo to be dead. I mean, embryologists, for practical purposes, would basically say, well, if it hasn't divided for two days, it's not going to develop any further. Um, But, you know, ethicists and and, and other people might have different views on that. So how are they managing to do this then? What's the method behind it, behind being able to take the embryonic stem cells out of an embryo that otherwise would have been thrown away? Well, it's just the normal uh, method that you would use. You know, they take a cell and culture it in the normal way that they would use to develop an embryonic stem cell line. Um, They said that when they looked at these embryos that had stopped dividing, some of the cells in those embryos um, looked deformed and looked damaged, but there generally were also some other cells that looked perfectly healthy. But how do they know they're definitely healthy and we're not going to have some kind of health implication further down the line once they've been grown into something miraculous and put into a real person's body? Well, in terms of looking at the chromosomes and the... um just the the general characteristics of the cell it seemed fine obviously it will take more research to characterize that further and make absolutely sure but it you know it seems fine at this stage 